Bioorganic weapons are a global threat. Start working with the rest of the world. Iraqi city, Iraqi city. We have Iraqi to come to my desire to reveal the truth. It might create more problems. That's it's time to take responsibility. We want to have any chance. I've always valued your friendship, Leon. Stay right where you are. Mr. President! Kennedy. How do you know my name? Yes. Hunnigan. Thank God you're both all right. How do you two know each other? That's Helena Harper. She's been with the Secret Service since last year. I can't tell you how good it is to hear you two are all right. Look, I hate to rush introductions, but I need a report on your situation. Just shot the president. What he had already been infected by the time we found him. Leon. Leon did what he had to. He saved my life. All right, what is going on, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Or if it's the first time you're watching any of my videos, welcome to. And in today's video, we are going to be reviewing Resident Evil 6 because after a long and I mean a long playthrough, we have finally reached the end. Um, and the reason, too, why this one took a long time to be uploaded is because I had all the videos uh, ready. It's just I just could not get them rendered and uploaded. A lot of things started happening. It's just life is a bitch. Um, but anyways, like I've been teasing since we started this uh, series, is it's just how infamous Resident Evil 6 is. And it's I don't mean to say that lightly. It's to the point where... And I, I don't mean I don't mean this like as a joke or anything, but when this game came out, it effectively killed any kind of like Resident Evil hype for any new game that came out. Um, some exa like some games that came out after this one, I think, are like Raccoon, uh, Operation Raccoon City, Umbrella Corps, um, R. E. Ver, and you get what it like. Like games like that were only coming out, and to be honest, they none of them really recaptured what they had going for them in the past. Um, like I said with Resident Evil 5, I feel like that was a good middle ground that they should have stopped at because, um, the combat system in that game was, um, while it was borderline on the, okay, we're getting, um, a little, we're getting a little crazy here punching the enemies there. It did make sense in the context of the, the enemies are becoming smarter. Um, Resident Evil 6 to me completely took the combat system and just sh shit on it. It everything they could do to it. The while the gunplay, I will say that the gunplay is great and the addition of being able to move while you aim is phenomenal. I remember being able to play that and I was just so hyped from playing Resident Evil uh, 4 and the demo for 5. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. But um, when it comes down to the combat system and everything, I we're going to talk about this more later on. I just want to, like, give a little tease for what it is, uh, what we're going to be talking about. But the combat system, to me, was butchered. The story was butchered. And to be honest, this game is too long. Um, We'll talk about that. We're going to talk about that more later. But these are just all, like, I'm just putting everything out there. This game, for a fact, is too long. There are four separate campaigns. And each campaign has moments where they intersect. So you will be playing the same part multiple times, and each campaign alone is a five hours. So 
this game really overstays its welcome. I found myself towards the end of it just being like, no, I really want to get over with it. But like in all my reviews, we are going to talk about the gameplay first because I do have some good things to say about that. But a lot of it might not be good. So let's get right into this review of Resident Evil 6. <laughs> The gameplay of Resident Evil 6 is very similar to its predecessors, but like I said in the intro, they butchered it horribly. The gunplay, I will say, is actually very fun. <clears throat> Unlike Resident Evil 5 and 6, now when you aim, you are able to move around. Actually, new to the entire Resident Evil uh, series, uh, not counting the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake because those came out way after this game was released. But you can now move while you're aiming, which is such its such a good thing to be able to do. Um, another thing that you can do now is you are able, when you're aiming, you're able to like dodge like not dodge but like kind of like jump like if you like you like point the stick like left and like press a you'll like jump to the left you'll jump backwards you can roll around on the ground and it honestly just stuff like that is just fun to do and stuff um the guns they give you they all feel really great um some of the characters have like this it's weird like leon he can pull out his dual pistols um Jake, he has hand-to-hand -hand combat. Id Wong just has, like, a really, like, her uh, bow and arrow is, like, an insta-kill. And each character, Chris is Chris. You you know, he's just murdering everybody. But when, when I... I will say that the gunplay is very fun. The combat system in this game is atrocious. And my god, I wish it never existed. For starters, there is a stamina bar in this game, which means you can only do maybe, I think, or it's like five hits in a row. Okay, that's great. But once you run out of stamina, you are basically left sitting there. And another problem, okay, so once you run out of stamina, you're basically left sitting there like a sitting duck. You can't punch, you can't do anything. On top of that, for some reason, they still want it to give you the amount of ammo they give you in a regular survival horror game. So if you run out of stamina and ammo, you're constantly running around the battlefield waiting for your stamina, which takes a minute to, the, to come back. It's just not fun at all. On top of that, there is a counter system. I don't know why. I don't know who thought it was a good idea, but there should not be a counter system in a Resident Evil game. It is dumb. It is st it's it makes no sense. It, it literally it makes no sense for me to hit like counter an enemy. And it feels like the combat system is they really wanted you to use the combat system cuz like I said, the ammo, the amount of ammo you get in this game is it's kind of shit. It feels like they really thought that you were still playing like a, a game like a survival horror game, which this is not. This is not a. This is not like a OG Resident Evil experience. This isn't even like a Resident Evil Four or Five experience. This is its own monster. On top of that, there are maybe I will say four or five puzzles in this entire game, and they were only in J um, Leon's, Jake's, and ada's story and literally it was like one each or maybe one of them had two there are zero puzzles in this game and each and if there even is a puzzle it's just run over here to this switch and click this switch or do this and do that it's like not a lot like puzzles are what make a resident evil game a resident evil game um it's just this game it does not feel like a resident there's so many quick time events just so many more than resident evil 4 and 5 there's so many action pieces, it just does not feel like a Resident Evil game. And I'm just sorry to say this, but this feels like if it was the mercenary mode, but just like a spin-off of the mercenary mode. And it sucks, it really does suck, but the gameplay is just, it's, the story is the icing on this shit cake. Because the story makes, 
little to no sense to where when I was playing it, I kind of just, okay, let's keep going. Because it gets, it's a little confusing. It's a little dumb what happens in this story. But, um, like I said, the gunplay is phenomenal. I really like it and stuff. Um, the co-op is one of the best additions um, in this game. I remember playing this heavily with my brothers just because of the co-op modes and the mercenary and all that. Um, like I said before, with the combat, it's horrible. I do not know why they went this route. Um, Resident Evil 5 was the perfect way to do it to when they added like the stomp move to where you could, instead of having to look down with your knife, they did it perfectly. Um, but I will say that Resident Evil 6's combat system is just... It's not... I just, I'm, I, we have to, I could just talk shit about this game for hours, just, it's not fun, it, like, around maybe the middle of Chris's story, I was done with the game, I did not want to play it anymore, and, oh yeah, before we move on to the story, another reason why that happens is because there are four, this goes on with gameplay, there are four separate campaigns, and there are multiple instances where the characters meet up that you have to play those exact same times, there's a scene in which Leon, in which, um, Leon meets um, Chris and what's his face? Uh, Leon meets Chris and their partners. They meet up and they're chasing Ada Wong. That same no, <coughs> oh God, sorry about that. That same cutscene plays out the same exact way in both of the cutscenes. There is a boss fight in both Jake's and Chris's uh, story that is the same exact fight. There is a same fight that is the same in Leon's and Jake's fight, and you play these multiple moments over again, and it's not fun to play the same set pieces over and over again it's just not i would have just much preferred if they just like the cut the beginning cutscene played and it skipped over that and then it was like hey all right and the, or another scene plays out or something else happens because it added nothing for me to play these boss fights two times when it literally made no sense for me to see the keep seeing these scenes when i've seen that scene a couple like an hour ago when i was playing jake's story or when i was playing include especially ada wong's story her later half of her campaign is basically just leon's ending it's it's just it makes no sense it just felt like they just wanted to just put as much as they could in this game and never thought okay maybe we should try and not let these parts be playable because it does get draining after a while especially that the first boss fight of jake's and chris's story and when you're in the i forget where you are you're in that you're um it's like the flashback sequence and stuff it is has to be the single most boring boss fight that i have ever played and yet i have to do it twice and that this is just the gameplay we we have to talk about the story still so let's get right into that Well, this is unexpected. No, wait! Ah, Agent Birkin, impeccable timing. Kindly take these two into custody, won't you? They said you were involved in the terrorist attack. Is it true? What, are they running down the street, screaming it to anyone who'll listen? Answer me! It's for the benefit of the United States and global security. You can't see how killing the president is good for the country! President's dead? Well, we have Leon to thank for that. God damn you, Simmons! Dispose of them. Hold your fire! Those two are still of use to us. You need to be more careful. All right, all right. So what's the plan, hero? You think you can make it to that door? Why don't we just waste him? Because I need you to take care of Sherry. Can we wrap this up? I do have better things to do. What are you two gonna do? Finish Simmons. There's information on here that could stop the sea virus. Simmons wants it. Thanks. I'll put a call into FOS, get you some protection. Now move! <laughs> Alert the men outside. She got me. Resident Evil 
classic story is for the it's all over the place from the main villain being Simmons and a perfect clone of Ada Wong. Yeah, that that that's that's what I mean. So the first main villain of the game is Derek Simmons, who starts an outbreak and to infect the president for to he starts an outbreak that ends up infecting the president and killing like 70,000 people because he wants to protect the secret of Raccoon City and like he thought that like oh it's gonna but revealing it is gonna cause like problems and stuff but he sacrificed 70,000 people's lives instead I I really don't know and then on the other hand we have the clone of Ada Wong her name is like Carla Radman Rad something but she is like a perfect clone of Ada Wong because surprise surprise Simmons also has a weird obsession with Ada Wong and used her as a perfect clone um but and she her plan is to like infect the entire world so even if she dies she wants the entire world to like be infected so the entire game ends up uh, like the final boss of the game of uh, well i would say like the final final boss of the game is in chris's story which is chaos chaos it's something it's this real big tentacle monster that has the ability to like infect every month to like infect the water supply and stuff but overall the story in resident evil 6 is not good even though it is spread over three, four, three or four campaigns, the clone of Ada Wong walking around, it's just, it's very simple to understand that it's not Ada Wong. There's really no, it's, it's, it's just a weird story for them to do and stuff. The fact of the matter, it's just not a good story. Um, I will say Resident Evil 5 story was much more enjoyable than this one. It, this one seems like they tried to make it so serious that in the end, it just comes off as goofy. I just can't take any of it seriously. It's just, how do you say that putting 70,000 people's lives, like just ending 70,000 people is better than somebody being like, yeah, we were involved in Raccoon City. And on top of that, like the clone of Ada Wong, like it's pretty obvious. It's like, it's just, man, I tried to play it and I tried to enjoy the story, but it's just, this story is not, it's, it's just not good i don't understand how it's just and then then the only thing i really enjoyed about the story was jake being wesker's uh son because it really tied the story together and jake honestly is a very enjoyable character Her, um jake and sherry's story by far is the story wise is like the only campaign really that is like intolerable because jake and sherry have like the best interactions um leon's campaign is pretty much okay it feels the most resident evil and ada wong's is just always like hers let's just slow it feels they just threw hers up in there but the biggest and i mean the biggest offender of this game is chris's story because chris's story starts out with him like he has lost his memory and we learn why it's because he um got his ass beat by some bi um some bioweapons on top of that he was really traumatized by losing his entire team now, this is, like, that's good character development, right? But the moment Chris remembers and finds out that because of Ada, um, I'm doing air quotes here, but Ada Wong, who is really Carla, uh, whatever her name is, um, ends up in, like, is the reason why his entire past team got infected. Uh, but they still think it's Ada Wong. So he goes crazy, and he's looking for her, and, and his entire squad dies, and he doesn't care. The man who is pissed off at this one woman for killing his entire squad sees his entire squad again murdered in front of his eyes and he's not phased at all. This is the single most poorly written character in the game. Leon acts how he does all the time. He's just some edgelord. I'm oh, I'm of this. J Sherry, this is like the first time we've seen her since Resident Evil 2. Helena and them are new characters. Chris's character in this game is just completely misguided and butchered. And by the end, he's supposed to have like this, oh, okay, I'm staying a BSA agent. Like, but he didn't just run throughout chasing this snake. He was chasing a snake that killed his entire team and did not care. He didn't care at all. It's just, it's, it's one of the things that baffle my mind about this game is that that's a main driving force for Chris, this ent his entire campaign. But when it happens again, he's like, okay, 
And it's directly his fault, too. Pierce is constantly telling him throughout that campaign mission, hey, let's slow down. Hey, a lot of us are dying. Hey, let's slow down. And he's just rushing. I don't understand how I'm supposed to feel for Chris's... It's his, like... His... His uh plight or like his like uh, his like his, oh, I'm trying to think of the word. I really can't think of it. But um, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel for Chris's just the emotional state he's in when he just did it again, and it's his fault. It's nobody else's fault. It it just makes no sense, and that's just where it all comes with re the Resident Evil Six story makes no sense. Well, they really did set up a good um, framework with the previous two games and that the bioweapons were getting smarter and that they were going more worldwide than just staying in like the testing grounds of like Raccoon City and stuff. But what Resident Evil 6 did was basically take all the worst aspects of Resident Evil 5 and 6 and amplify them. Uh, while I get the at, um, this game and okay, and I will say this, that the problem with that is that this game is a product of its time. This game came out around the early 2010s, and this was a time when a lot of games were very high-action, uh, co-op campaign type of games. A lot of games that didn't need co-op campaign had co-op campaign, had a lot of um, quick-time events and everything, and it is just a product of its time. Um, and you can see why, while like hardcore Resident Evil fans were like, this is not Resident Evil, we really don't like this this is like really different the sales for casual fans say otherwise as this is one of the most this is one of the best selling resident evil games ever and i f i feel like the reason why is because it was an upward trend with resident evil 4 5 and 6 the sales kept going up and up and up and that's because it was appealing more to a casual fan base resident evil 6 is a very casual experience i don't have to manage like i said before Managing your ammo and stuff really doesn't matter when if you stun the enemy, it's an insta-kill and it feels like it's more based towards the combat system than what Resident Evil was known for was puzzles that don't make any sense to where this button over here clicks over here, opens something in a different room that you have to go play a piano, um, you know, just stuff like that. And I feel it really lost its way, and I'm not the only person who thinks this. Like I said, res any type of Resident Evil game that was released after this one up until the release of the next main entry was heavily, heavily criticized, and and for good reasons, because these games were not good. Umbrella Corpse, while the concept was interesting, it kind of felt like it was just mashed together in a couple of days, even though I know that's not the truth, but you get what I'm trying to say. Especially games like Operation Raccoon City just did not feel like Resident Evil anymore. They lost their way for a while, and that is why I am actually glad that we are moving on to the game that actually revived Resident Evil, which is Resident Evil 7 changed the whole new perspective, went back to its roots with puzzles and horror being the main focus. And while I will say that it was a it, it was a very big gap between Resident Evil 6 and Resident Evil 7. It was almost it was 5 years. Yes, it was a 5 year gap and there was and then no sight of any type of Resident Evil like what well, where would the story go there is a secret ending in this game in which Jake and they were like I think like oh Jake is going to be the next protagonist but we have not seen Jake Helena and I'm not I can't even say Pierce because he bit the dust but um we have not seen any of the Resident Evil 6 crew since Resident Evil 6 and it's, it's kind of sad because like I said Jake was one of my favorite characters Helena was really forgettable but Resident Evil 6 is just, I can't say anything. Halfway through Chris's story, I was ready to be done with the game. And that just says a lot because there were two other campaigns that I needed to finish. It's too long, it overstays its welcome, and it's just not Resident Evil enough for me to even consider this a Resident Evil game. This, to me, like I said in the beginning, is a, a mercenary spinoff. They really liked how, where the mercenary was going, and they kept on using that. It's, it's sad, really, because, like I will say, I, 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 I really did enjoy Resident Evil 4 and 5. But 6, to me, is just, it really, it went downhill because those sales for Resident Evil 5, it just, they, they really wanted to make, keep replicating. I mean, and it worked. The game is one of the best-selling Resident Evil games, but it successfully killed off the franchise for a little bit. But that is going to be enough of this because, honestly, I need to start looking at Resident Evil 6. 
And the final thing I want to say is, do I recommend you play this game if this is your first playthrough through the entire Resident Evil series? Yes. If you haven't played the game in a couple years, yes. This is not a game to come back to. I don't see myself coming back to this game in a month or two. I see myself every once in a while casually playing the first five games. This one, I never see myself coming back to. Maybe in a couple years when I forget about it again. But overall, this game is just... It's, it's an experience. And just... Not a good experience. But that is going to wrap up the original Resident Evil series from Resident Evil 1 to 6. Because the next two games, which are 7 and 8 follow a different kind of they kind of distance themselves from everything that happened in the past well not resident evil 8 there's just you get what i'm trying to say but we will talk about more about how resident evil 7 and all that how they fit into the overall everything like the story of resident evil once we get to that game but that has been resident evil 6 and my god it feels very good to be able to be done with this game it has been maybe two months that i've been on this game and it is just time it's time to leave this game in the dust but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any more of my reviews. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out. That is fair, kid.